Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest Kodi version, which is Kodi 21 Omega, to your Fire Stick and set up a Dix Xenon for it. At the moment it is real the Brit version only, but the usual free version should come out really soon. So first of all, to get Kodi to your Fire Stick or your Android TV, you gotta get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from your official Amazon App Store or a Google Play Store, depending on what device you are using. So just go to search and here in the search bar start typing downloader. As you can see, downloader has already popped out at the bottom for me, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app, which is once again downloader. So we click on it, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get downloader, it's not over yet, we still have to set it up. And to set up downloader, we'll go to settings, so here they are, open them, then scroll down and go to my far TV, open it, here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some fire sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear, just go to about, select fire TV stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we go to install unknown apps, and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, is going to allow us to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick. Here it is. And there is the Downloader app, which we already got to the Fire Stick. However, before actually using the Downloader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any device you may have. And you just need one account to connect all of your devices at the same time which is amazing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Canada right now, and from the moment we connect, all our internet traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online, and that's extremely important if we wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just go get your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and type topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to send you to the best NordVPN offer available. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen, with a camera of your phone. It's also going to send you to the NordVPN offer. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we open up the loader application, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, that's important. And then here you'll see such a search bar, which we need to open. So we open it and need to type a link here, which is going to be Kodi. So enter Kodi, then dot and TV. So the link is Kodi.tv, make sure to enter it exactly as I did. Then we click on Go. And now Kodi website should open for us. Yep, here it is. Then just click here on the sandwich button and scroll down to the download section. Click on download, and now a new page has opened for us, which we scroll down and select Android as our device. It does not matter if you're using a Fire Stick, Chromecast, or Android TV, all of those devices are Android based, so that's why we select Android here. So we click on it, then scroll down once again, and for my Fire Stick, I'll be using the ARM V7A or 32-bit version. So we click on it, now we download to start, usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Click on install right here, and wait until Kodi gets installed to your Fire Stick. After the Kodi was installed, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore. So we click on delete, and then delete once again. Now finally let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, let's open it. Scroll down, and there is the Kodi app, which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it, 
and then press on move to front. This way Cody is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access Cody every time you need it. Now let's finally open Cody application, click OK here. There is no need to allow Cody to record audio, however you do have to allow access to your photos and media files on your device. Here in the application, first of all we need to go to settings, so let's click on them, then go to system right here at the bottom and scroll down until you see add-ons. Then go to the right and allow add-ons from unknown sources. So turn that option on for us. Then go back and let's go to File Manager to actually add VDIG Xenon build to our Kodi app. So we go to File Manager, click on Add a Source, click OK, click on the middle button on our remote, and there we'll be entering a link, which you need to enter exactly as you'll see on your screen. So first of all, it's going to be HTTP. S, then click on that button, click on the double dot, then click on that button once again, then two forward slashes, so one and two of them, and then we should enter digs1.me, so take a look at the screen, Then add a slash again and enter digs repo. So here I go, here is how the link should look like. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, because if you make any mistake, the link is not going to work. Then you click on OK right here and then on the OK at the bottom. Now we gotta go back go to Addons, and select Install from zip file. Then select Digs repo, click on it. Then once again select Repository Digs 18, click OK. As you can see now it says that Digs Repository Addon is installed. Now we should go there, Install from Repository, click on Digs Repository, then scroll down and go to Program Addons, and select Chief Omega Wizard. Then click on Install. Click OK here. Now it will take some time until it gets installed. Here just click on the middle button on your remote. Wait until this menu pops out and click on Yes. And select Dix Xenon 2, Debris Only, version 1.1. Click Continue. And now it's going to take quite some time until it gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV. After the load finished, it's going to extract files, so extracting may also take some time. Then, after the install is complete, you need to click OK and the code is going to be forced closed. After that, just run Kodi once again and now Dig Xenon is going to open up for you. So at the top you can go for categories such as movies, TV shows, track TV, track movies, TV guides, sports, music, arcade, YouTube, favorites, add-ons, Xenon 2 and so on. I had to blur out the bottom part of the app because YouTube does not allow me to show it. But of course, it's not going to be blurry when you get Dig Xenon to your Fire Stick.